Hello, my flamingo family. Welcome back to Terraria. Here we are today. We have quite a bit of new stuff since the last time you guys were in. So starting off, um, I have began, I haven't completed it yet, but I've been making a caverns layer, or level, same exact level as the bottom of our cavern home all of the way across the map we've only made it about uh i'd have to say about two-thirds of the way maybe so that's amazing that's gonna be super nice just for traversing um and then we've also made a little bit of a arena which is just tiny right now uh we'll probably build some more up here but i'm just using the resources that we have right now Muscaria is throwing a party. Muscaria, not sure. So that's awesome. Anyway, as for our inventory, obviously we have quite a bit of stuff. Um, starting out, upon doing fishing quests for Simon here, we got some fin wings. So that's amazing that we now have wings. We also, while digging our tunnel across the map, we defeated a skeleton archer and got a magic quiver, which we need to reforge. So it's not arcane, but extremely nice because arrows get 10% more damage and it greatly increases arrow speed. So just for you guys to see, to demonstrate. So if I shoot it now, it shoots relatively slowly. But if I put the magic quiver on, choo 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 choo, goes a lot faster. It doesn't shoot faster, but the speed, the velocity of the arrow is faster. Um, and then we also got the frog leg, which then... I shouldn't have made this without you guys. But we got the frog leg, leg, which you could combine with the flipper. And then I believe you combined the flipper and frog leg with the climbing gear, which was spiked shoes and spiked claws. And then you could make a frog gear. Which is nice, it just lets us jump higher, especially with wings on right now. We can get all the way up to 750, which is crazy. Also, while traveling, or building our railway if you will, because I will be making a rail um, road in there, we found some spider fangs, which that is pretty nice. That's going to go into our miscellaneous ingredients. And we've also made quite a few Souls of Knights. Um, let's go talk to the guy just so you guys can see. And also figure out where this traveling merchant is. And go and visit him. But spider fangs cannot be made into anything new with 1.4. Souls of Knight, I believe there are a couple new things that we can do. Oh, you guys... I want a baby red panda instead of a parrot. Oh, look at how cute this little guy is. And he flies. Oh, he's pretty cute. Um. Okay. And I don't think... Ooh. An orange zapinator. We're gonna buy that. Because it seems like it's pretty much just like the other zapinator, but does a lot more damage. And also, I'm gonna buy a ton of dynasty wood. Because I think it'd be cool for building some stuff. Just two stacks is fine. Shingles? Yeah, let's... I think let's just get... 100 red and 100 blue. Just to have them on hand. I don't have any build in mind right now, but... I was looking at them just before and... Oh, whoops. I was looking at them before and... Didn't buy any because I always thought that they were annoying, but then I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I think that they would look pretty cool, potentially. So a parrot cracker, and then building refined hard blocks. We'll consider these refined hard blocks. And then zapinator, put in our magic weapons. Gray zapinator. Oh. Let's see, what's the difference? Literally just damage, it looks like. But that's cool. Okay. Uh, souls of... Oh, I didn't even look at... I didn't even talk to the guide, sorry. 
Let's uh, go back. Okay. Senior guide. Souls of Night. So we can make Soul of Night in a bottle. We can make a cool whip, which is kind of a fun word or fun name for a weapon. An Onyx Blaster. So this in our last playthrough we really wanted to make, but we never did because we couldn't get uh, Dark Shards very easily. So I do want to craft that. Spirit Flame. Um, That I need to be in the desert. I don't think we're prepared for that. And then summoning tools. So nothing too special besides that Onyx Blaster. And then Spider Fang, nothing new except for right here, Spider Nest Block, which is pretty cool. So we can use that for building if we wanted. But let's put it all away for now. And you guys, oh, I'm super excited about this. Let me put this way and then I'll explain what I'm excited about. Miscellaneous ingredients, cool. Okay, so all of these items right here. So these 10 items, they all combine to create a onk shield. So let me just show you guys. So all 10 of these go together to make an onk charm which grants immunity to most debuffs. And then we can combine that with the obsidian shield to make an onk shield, which gives us four defense, immunity to knockback and fire blocks, and most debuffs. Now, what's considered most debuffs? Not sure. But it is extremely, extremely nice to have immunity to a majority of debuffs and stuff, and that additional four defense. So... Never once in my Terraria career have I been able to craft that. So we are going to reforge that and put that on. And then here, I finally got the Angler Earring. So we can make the Angler Tackle Box. Of course, we get Menacing with it. And then we're going to put these two down here. So that when we're building, we can put our Gizmo Pack on. And when we are fishing, we can just put our Angler bag on. Huh, it looks like whichever one's on the bottom takes priority. That's kind of fun. Uh, we also got a Nimbus Rod. While I was just farming, I forget what I was farming for, but they'll basically just rain, rain down, which is super duper nice. I would say replace the Vile Thorn with that because we don't really need the Vile Thorn at this point. And while doing more fishing quests, we got a bottomless water bucket. So we can make, uh, what's it called? A fishing pond anywhere that we want. And then we can also clean up a fishing pond anywhere we want with the super absorbent sponge. So we're going to put that stuff. Let's put that right here. Red dragonfly, we can put that away. Oh, dang it. Accidentally put away all of our crates. We do want to open all of our crates so far. See what we can find in there. There we go. And then a titanium crate. Stone slabs and stone platforms. That's what I'm making. The reason why I have so many is that's what I'm making. This vertical or rather horizontal um, trip with. Horizontal thing with. So let's put those away. I'm just going to put them... Uh, let's put them in here for now. In our refined hard blocks. So now we don't have any gold. Uh, we don't have anything in inventory. Let's see what we can get out of our chests. And I'm keeping, just because I think it's neat, I'm keeping one of every single chest that we find. So... Azure, Azure t crates found these in the sky. Not sure. I think it's the maybe the hard mode equivalent to a sky chest. Excuse me. So let's check it out. Yes, it looks like it is. So we got some baits and then red balloons. 
So the red balloons we can sell, mana potion. Titanium crate. Choosh. We got master, mana, and then gold. Okay, well that wasn't that special. Mithril crate. Come on, anything new. Ooh, this is super nice, actually. Allows time to fast forward. Well, it's not that nice at this point because we can already sleep, but so far so good. We want to sell everything that I'm highlighting right now. Or a Chalcum, that's nice. And then Pearl Word. Pearl Word. Let's see what we can find. Doesn't look like anything special. Sell the anchors. Lucky radar. Sell the potions. We wanna... Sell, 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 sell. What did we get in here? Cat. Alright. Well, nothing... Nothing too relevant. Or special. Or a Chalcum is super cool to have. It creates bubblegum blocks. Cobalt we got. Cobalt is the equivalent to pala palladium, palamidium. Palladium, I believe, is the proper. Okay. And then lesser healing. Excuse me, I got the hiccups for some reason. Lesser healing potions. What can we craft those into? Here we are, because I want, yeah, okay, cool. And we have a ton of magic mushrooms, or not magic mushrooms, glowing mushrooms. So let me see here. Where did you go? Plants? Here we go. And we should, right here, and then there's a 30... 33% chance to not consume any of this stuff. Oh. Oh, we ran out of potions. Okay. Well then let's put those away, get rid of that. Enchanted Sundial I think would look good in our desert home. Speaking of our desert home, let me sell this stuff and then we'll go there. Get rid of all this. Cap. There we go. I want to show you guys quick before we go to our desert home our little arena, which will be put in the Eternia crystal on so that we can fight the endless army or the goblin army or whatever it it is, I forget, but So this is pretty cool, I'm actually pretty proud of this, so we have gold bricks with all of our banners, I'm debating between putting wall behind the banners and not, and then golden platforms, which I had to farm out a little bit of uh, a few pirate maps or pirate armies in order to get enough gold platforms, but I thought that it fit the look and then obviously I would like a third level somewhere up here of platforms so we'll have to make that happen but then let's go home I'm gonna show you guys why we need why we can't proceed with anything until until we defeat a mechanical boss and get the steampunk so we have hollow in our jungle which is not a big deal kind of a bummer cuz you know but because primarily because of like underground hollow but at the same time traveling merchants departed that's fine okay so we got corruption here that's not a big deal right that's fine I just want this mushroom there we go 76 damage all right so corruption not a big deal and then we have a meteor, or a meteorite rather, which inhibits the exchange, 
So we have hollow here. This is actually hollow that I put on here. And it turned... Ooh! You guys? Now hollow is starting to spread. That's nice. But this entire desert is corruption. And with this desert being corruption, this, all of these homes are no longer valid. I even put hollow over here to try to prevent it from spreading more. Or rather, to get... Oh, I didn't mean to elapse an entire day. Oh, that was kind of neat. It blew up in the middle of... Okay, we don't want you guys in there. So anyway, that's pretty unfortunate that now we don't have ourselves a desert home for the time being. Because we need the contaminator. So yeah, let us... I'm going to reforge a couple things. Because I want to reforge the fin wings and then the magic quiver and everything. And then we're going to run over and we're going to fight the army, whatever it's old, oh, old one's army, that's what it's called. And then that will be today's episode, pretty much just a bunch of catching up to do. And then we're going to be starting some mechanical bosses or trying to. Sound good? See you guys soon. Alright, we are back here in our humble abode. I can't believe how long that it actually took to get this perfectly centered. I'm confident to say, oh, I need to... I took that out in order to be able to do the math. But I'm confident to say that that Eternia crystal is perfectly centered. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Pretty happy with it. Let's run back, fix that. And then it'll be our time to shine in using the Eternia Crystal and trying to defeat the Old Ones army for the first time. And it's pre us defeating any mechanical bosses, so honestly should have done it pre hard mode, but hopefully we don't have any issues post hard mode. If we do, it's just because I'm bad. Do, 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 do. Uh, I keep going. I really like having this steed, or whatever you want to call it. Horsey. What's Alright. Let's get this. Oh, and I forgot to mention, too, I got this hammer axe. Hammer axe. Hammer hacks. Not sure how to pronounce it. But that was from fishing up a, I think it was the red shark during a blood moon. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, enough talking. Let us do it. So uh, let's put this guy where, oh. So is it a one-time use thing or... Does it constantly blow up? It looks like it constantly blows up. But it's not very effective. Holy cow, and our thing has very little health. Crazy little health. But our main weapon destroys them. If only we were able to, like, uh... Well, let's just... Push them up over on the left side there. If only we were able to have more than us. What if we put our Nimbus Rod over it as well? You guys think that'll be enough? Wave 2 starts in 5 seconds, 4 seconds. Alright. Well, it looks like most of them are gonna be good. Do we have everything equipped that we want equipped? Yeah, we probably don't need this treasure magnet to be honest. 
but that's all right. What else would we even replace the treasure magnet with? Hmm. Explosive trap is not as strong as I thought it would be. Let's get more of them. I wonder if they're so close that they don't even do any good. Would that make sense? Would that happen? Probably. Get this blue slime out of the way. If I could aim. So now we got a javelin thrower. Well, with the bone arrow, it's perfectly fine. The shadow flame bone arrow. Ah. Uh, Nimbus clouds have gone away. Collect our eth Ethereum mana. Get our guys. Now, in our last playthrough, the boss to this always spawned on the left side, so I'm curious if that still holds true. Perfect. And let's refresh those. Because I believe that they time out. This guy's only got a thousand HP. It's nothing, man. So now we got Ethereum Wyverns, which is an issue. Or just annoying. But maybe we don't have to worry about it. You know, when those mines are all together, that's actually not too shabby. I'm curious as to why these guys look like they are being forced to go through walls. Or maybe they just changed the aesthetic of them for 1.4. Got a second defender medal. So this one, that was actually pretty good. Come on. I can't get one in between there. Reuse them. Pretty much, I'm just defending this right side while my um while my traps defend the right left side. Dark Mage. So that's the boss's name. Okay. So yes, he's on this side. Oh, he only has 2,000 HP. Oh, easy. Hey, man. Oh, why do I... Why does he still have three quarters of his health? What the heck? Did two of them spawn? Or what's the deal? Okay. Well, we completed it. We got five defender medals. And then we got a... Ooh. Summons a magical tome mount. Oh, <gasps> you guys, we can float? Can we float indefinitely? Hmm. It doesn't seem like we can float indefinitely. No. But that's neat. I didn't know that they increased what kind of drops there were. Uh, let's do... Let's do one more. I don't want a dragon. We had a dragon all of last playthrough. But yeah, one more. I know we're a little long already, but... Why not? One more. I think they're pretty fun. Get those. See, but I kind of like the... I like the horse. Takes me... Takes me where I want to go a lot faster. Or the goat skull. But maybe that's just a perception. Who knows, man? There we go. Easy peasy. I think the first one... The first, uh... 
mechanical boss I want to try defeating. I'm at a dilemma. I kind of want to do Skeletron Prime, but we also did Skeletron Prime last time. So, at the same, excuse me, at the same time, I would rather do like the Destroyer or the Twins first. We'll see, I forget which ones we already have. I know we have like a mechanical, I know for a fact we have a mechanical skull already, but... Get those guys back. There we go. Uh, yeah, I like what we did last time, just stack it all up in the left side. Okay. So now, two more. There we go. Replace these guys. Choo -choo -choo. We're at 287. I forget when we get an actual banner. I think it's either it's either 500 or 1000 for sure, but I don't remember which one. Curious if at this point the left side is enough for itself. Um, it appears so. So, explosive trap rods, once you get enough of them, then it's pretty nice. I think if we just save up our defender crystals, right, that's what they're called, defender metals, um, then we should be able to make, or not make, should be able to purchase a better version for hard mode, or post mechanical boss, I should say. But we'll see. Man, what is this guy? Oh, it's his legs. That's pretty cute. Uh, let's use these guys. Wyvern. Gotta get rid of him. Or them, I should say. Not sure what gender the wyvern is. Apparently none of them want to spawn on the left side. Which I'm not mad about. Okay. Do I have all of mine? There's a defender medal. Okay. Refresh these. And then... Use three more. Perfect. Last wave and then we'll be good to go and we'll call it a day. See if we get anything. See if we get a better drop than amounts that lets us levitate some. Not that that's bad. There we go. It's going to be a waxing crescent moon. I am extremely happy though to have been able to craft the onk shield and everything. Nope, same, same two drops. Dark Mage's Tome and Dragon Egg. I know there's more mounts or pets than the Dragon Egg. I know there's a, at least a Gato Egg. But, yeah. With all of that being done, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please consider hitting that like button. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe to see more in the future. We'll see you in the next one.